So are you able just to introduce yourself, um, what teams you played for and things like that? Yeah, um, so my name's Chester Sell. I'm a Libro for Mallory Eagles UEL um, and this is my second season with the club. Uh, what are you most excited for about the new season? Um, I think um, getting to know my new teammates. So I think with the volleyball in London especially, there's a lot of chop and change every summer um, with who plays for which team and lots of different university players coming in. So getting to know the new teammates and sort of trying to form um, some good connections with them is the, is the key really, I think. What do you think about the opening weekend format with 20 teams turning up um, over two days and just playing all out volleyball? Yeah, no, I think that's really good. I, this is my 10th season, I think, in National League and it's the first time that I just, like, something like that's happened. So I think it's a good opportunity to see some of the other teams as well and see what we've got up against for the rest of the season. So um, a good like, good idea and I think we can probably um, make the most of it and try to showcase some volleyball in the UK, which would be really good, I think. Uh, you've recently been to Korea with the uh, men's England team. How was that? Yeah, that was like, amazing. So great opportunity to go and play against some really good teams. I think the, the, the learnings from it are sort of, there's two things I take away. One is at the speed that they play. So um, we played a few different teams. We played uh, UC Irvine from the States. Um, we played Queensland from Australia. We played um, Vietnam and um, Korea. And I think what's really interesting is that the Asian teams play a really fast pace of volleyball that we're not quite used to in the UK here. So there's no, it's no shock that we did better against the Western team. So beating UC Irvine uh, and beating the Australians who play a more similar style to us. Um, was interesting and then when we come against the Koreans they just play such fast volleyballs so we had to adapt to. And I think the other thing is um, we got to really showcase the work we've done as a national team for the last um, 12 months. Um, I think that we've you know obviously there's no funding for the senior program it's also all the players and coaches sell funds to like host um, all our, um, our squad meets and stuff like that so I think we can um, be quite proud of, proud of ourselves in terms of um, the level that we're actually competing at, um, given that we're sort of all doing it off our own backs, which is really good, I think. Do you think you can learn anything from those games in Korea with that kind of difference in speed and play from the Asian teams? Yeah, well, I think what's, um, what's good for us is that like, physically we're, we're up there. You know, we have some pretty tall, strong players jump very high. So I think we can definitely compete physically. It's just um, getting more consistent about how we play in system and how often we're in system and then how fast we can run our offense because their, their offense was incredibly effective and sometimes um, there's more than one way to skin a cat, you know, so there's different ways where you can play volleyball and it doesn't always have to be brute power. Sometimes you can play with um, some nifty quick sets. So I think we can work on a bit of that and that's, that's, the, that's what we'd, given that as a country we're, we're smaller than other countries in terms of our stature, I think that's something we need to try and um, embrace. Going back to the um, Super League season, uh, what are your hopes for the season? Uh, well, I think building on last year, really. So last year we won the cup um, and we came second in the league. So I think that's two years in a row we've been second. So it'd be really nice to, to go one more. I think um, you just got to see what the team's like, um, meet some of our new players and then, um, yeah, see if we can build on last season's league result. would be really good. Yeah, obviously with that winning the cup competition is great. Um, are you hoping to do the same again this year? Yeah, it, it, that's always, it's always nice. Um, I think the cup adds a, a little extra flavour because you see a bit like the opening weekend, you've got a big crowd coming in. Um, it's all host centrally for the final, which is a really good experience. You have to get much better numbers for that than you do in some of the league games. So, um, yeah, it was a really good event. I would love to go back there for another year and try and defend the cup. That'd be good. What did you get up to in your free time when you're not playing volleyball? Yeah, so um, outside of volleyball, I'm, a, I'm training to be a commercial pilot. So that's sort of my hobby and then hopefully my career. So outside of volleyball, it's um, in the books. And, um, yeah, looking up is the... It's what I do outside of volleyball. Amazing. So maybe one day you'll be flying out of the English team. Yeah, well, that'd be nice if I can um, do, do the flight as well. The food might be better up front than it was at the back for us on the way to Korea. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you for having a conversation with us today. No problem at all. Thank you.